Hello everybody, I'm Florent Dubost and today I'm going to present APCON, Attention Consistency for Vision Models. This is a collaboration between Stanford University and Georgia Tech. So when you think about classification CNNs, there are methods that can be used to compute their attention, to show what area of the image are used by the model to make its prediction and ideally show basically the target object. So for example, there's grab cam, get it back propagation. The problem is that when the model is not good, the attention maps are also not good, and they can even be contradictory. For example, here, you know, they don't show the same thing. What we want to do in this work is introduce the notion of attention consistency. So if you have a, a single model, you can have different methods to compute attention that cr leads to different attention maps, for example, AX1 for grad cam, AX2 for getting recreation, and so on. And we want to define a function, function H that measures the similarity between those attention maps. And we'll use that function during the training stage um, to improve the performance. For example, if you have this image of a bird, you'd want to classify it as a bird and highlight this region or that region. Mm. To do that, you would compute the grad cam, which is here not very good, and get it back rotation, which here highlights the bird, so that's actually better. And you want to define that function h and compare them. The problem is that they're not very comparable, right? One grad cam is higher resolution because of the model architecture, while get it back prop is showing more the contour of the object and is much higher resolution. So what we do is that we create a mask from this get it back propagation map and we use that to mask the inputs and put the mask input again through the network to create a second attention uh, grad cam map. Then we can much more easily compare the first and second grad cam by vectorizing the image and using personal correlation. So this is the algorithm that summarizes what I just explained. You can have a look. And here are some qualitative results on Pascal. So this is what I showed earlier. You know, there's not very good consistency between the different attention maps and they don't even show the right object in most of cases. With the proposed method, the attention maps are much more consistent. They show the, the, the correct object and Interestingly, it also improved the classification results. So for example, this was misclassified as a train and now it's correctly classified as an airplane. These are some classification results with varying training dataset size with varying like number of training samples per class. And you can see that the F1 and mean average precision improve when the data sets are small. This is also true for the overlap between the proposed uh, detected object and the actual ground truth object, where the performance of the weak supervised detection improves when the data sets are small. So as take on message, you can think that models with poor generalization performance, um, if you compute the attention maps, is going to have contradictory results you can use these methods to force attention consistency, which act as a regularizer and improves detection and classification results. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope to see you at the poster. We have more results on hospital videos and ablation study and whatnot. Thank you. Bye-bye.